today, this baby is going to see the Canadian Rockies for the very first time. Welcome to Lake Louise! You like it? <laughs> <laughs> think she loves it. If you guys missed the last video, we flew from Vancouver to Calgary and this baby experienced her very first airplane ride. So since we're doing a day trip to Banff from Calgary, we needed to find a way to get there conveniently and especially traveling with a baby. That's why we're trying out this new service called Turo. New because we haven't tried it before, we've always just rented a car from a rental company. Turo, if I was to put it into words, is sort of like an Airbnb for cars where you rent the vehicle from another person as opposed to a company. So we're gonna try that out. So I'm not sure where this car is. The keys got dropped off at the front desk of the hotel this morning. So it was kind of convenient for us because Turo, unlike other rental companies, also has the option to deliver the car to you. And that works well for us because we have a baby. So let me see. It's here. <laughs> okay, I think this is perfect just for a day trip to Ben. So this is one of the reasons why we chose to bring a car seat while traveling so so I could easily install Skylar seat while we rent a vehicle. For safety. Can I also get some ketchup in the bag? Thank you. Breakfast. So we left the hotel this morning, but it started to rain. Doesn't look like we're going to get any sun today, but we're still hoping that we're going to get some good weather when we get back. With me right now, it's around 9 degrees, but it's predicted that it's going to be 11 degrees in bed. It's a little bit cold than what we expected, but we're here to enjoy the day. Hi there, two adults and a baby. So Skylar is still asleep, but we are finally here in Banff National Park. One thing to note about when entering Banff is you need a park pass. Since this is a national park here in Canada, we have an option to purchase a day pass or a yearly pass. I remember last year we purchased a yearly pass because we did a Banff travel series around winter time in January. Sadly, we didn't get to use it as much because we did a lot of international travel that year as well. But for today, we just purchased a day pass because we we're just going to be here for the whole day and it costed us $21. So we have made it to our first destination here in Banff National Park, the iconic Lake Louise. So we thought coming from Calgary, we'd just make our way through the farthest attraction and then make our way back to the city. But unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky this time around visiting Lake Louise since it's a little bit gloomy and it's a little bit rainy outside. But we always do what we do. We make the most out of what we have. There's also some indoor options here in Lake Louise. That's why right now we're just enjoying Fairman Chateau Lake Louise. a little bit busy at the Fairmont lobby. Good thing they have this nice quiet area where we can breastfeed Skylar. Seems like it's so big there's a lot of nice and quiet area if you just go around. And I guess because this hotel is a conference center so you can find many small secluded areas if you just look. I was actually looking for fun facts about Fairmont and it turns out that this hotel was actually built in the 1890s 
and just start as a simple log cabin and they just continuously expand and expand. That kind of blows my mind because how small is a log cabin compared to this hotel now? Yeah, it looks like a castle right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out the gift shops. Right, Sky? When they visit the gift shops. Yes! Yay! And some stuff. Tyler, all the good stuff. Look! It's a bear. Stuffy. Hi, Mr. Bear. It's alive. It's <laughs> <laughs> like she's not afraid of bears. <laughs> I want to take you home. It's a dog. I'm petting the dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You were here at five months. Five months. Okay. This has life beautiful. Wow, cold air. It's so nice here. Wow. wow. Look at that green lake, Skylar. Skylar, welcome to Lake Louise. This is Lake Louise. Huh? You like it? <laughs> I think she loves it. She's probably wondering why it's colored that way. <laughs> it feels super epic to finally bring Skylar to one of her favorite places here in Canada. I think the last time we were here, it was winter and this whole thing was covered in snow and ice. Yeah, and we were trying our best to do the ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go ice skating, Skylar? Maybe when you're a little bit bigger and you can start to walk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it also brings back a lot of memories, canoeing and Lake Louise. Yeah, because we've been here a few times already, both in winter and summer, and both are pretty epic. Yeah, I hope one day when Skylar grows up a little bit, we can bring her at the canoe. And you guys may hear a little bit of construction noise over here because they're renovating, but it still doesn't take away the beauty of Lake Louise. Yeah, the drive is totally worth it. It is still a little bit rainy, that's why Max and Skylar decided to just go back to the hotel. But since we're already here, I couldn't pass up the chance of just going closer to the lake. Of course, if you're new to Lake Louise, Lake Louise is one of the most popular lakes here in Canada and I think you can probably figure out why. It is popular because of how the mountains are formed and in the middle you could see the glacier just feeding into the lake. Hence the teal color of the water. And I think that's only part why this place is so special because right in front of me is the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. Also if you guys could spot those red canoes over there one of the most iconic things to do here in Lake Louise. We have finally made it out to the town of Banff after making the drive from Lake Louise and wow, it's still as beautiful as the last time we remember it. It's like straight from a storybook, it's so nice. I think whichever season you come here, it's always so nice. One thing we noticed right away was that they closed off this Banff Avenue which is really cool because all of the patios are now open from the restaurant and people can just walk across the street. Yeah, and this is one of the iconic avenues here in Banff as well, right? So this is kind of like the center of the village. So maybe because we came on a summer weekend, but I think they should do this more often. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's 
Tyler, you wanna come out here and see Ben? It's pretty cool. Welcome to Ben, little one. So the sun is obviously playing some hide and seek today, but I think we're we're just super glad that it's just not raining. There you go. There's a little bit of sunshine, but it's still pretty chilly, right, Skylar? That's why you're wearing your hoodie. Hmm. <laughs> Skylar, look, there's a bus. Skylar, there's a bus. There's a bus. There's a bus. There's a bus. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice, nice meeting you. Guys. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Skylar, you have some new friends? Yes. New friends. So we just met some new friends and they were so nice to say hi to Skylar. We didn't get the name of the family but we remember the daughter's name is named Zoe. So hi Zoe. I'm Zoe. <laughs> Skylar was happy to meet you, all of you. and bakers. Look, Skylar. Look, there's an elf. I'm super excited for Skylar to discover Christmas. Ooh, right? It's going to be so fun. Santa. The reindeers and all of the elves. So we did visit a Christmas store like this in Leavenworth when we visited, I think about last year or two years ago, right? But I think this is a bigger store. Yeah, and they have a lot of ornaments and you can't wait to buy a tree and put all the ornaments when Skylar is big. Yeah, I feel like if we have something like this close to home, we'd be there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and we had and we'd have Christmas all year, right Skylar? <laughs> I think now that we have Skylar, I think we need to start a Christmas tradition. Yeah, well, figuring out our first one. Maybe a Christmas destination. Oh, wow! Yes! It's a pretty, pretty expensive tradition, Skylar. Oh, yes! <laughs> so fun! And lastly, before we head back to Calgary, I just want to mention that this day is also extra special because we are filming this on my first Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, baby! First of many Father's Day. <laughs> I can beat you. <laughs> Skylar, thank you for making me a dad, <laughs> for choosing us as parents. Yes. This day was already special regardless where we are. Even if you're in band, in Lake Louise, or just at home, yeah, I feel like I'm still pretty lucky to be a dad. Family of three now. All right, I guess we're gonna head back to Calgary. Mm -hmm. Like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.